Hey guys, welcome to the next data science tutorial and today we will talk about date range in pandas time series. So first we will import pandas as pd and then I will read my csv file for that I will use pd.readcsv and this is my file name stockmarket.csv and here I have stored this in df and if I will run df.head then here you can see the values of the top 5 rows. So here you can see we don't have the dates column here and to add the date column we will use date range function. So for that I will use pd.dateRange and in bracket I have used a start date which is 1st April 2019 and end date is 30th April 2019 and here I have used frequency equals to B. B is for business days so it will exclude the weekends and if you will execute it then here you can see the dates 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th or 7th date is missing because we have a weekends on those days and it's now directly showing me 8th, 9th and so on. So these are the business days only and uh, now I want to set these dates as an index in my data and for that I'll use df.setIndex and in bracket I have passed this range rng this is the variable in which I have stored these dates and here I have used in place equals to true so this will update my original data if you will not use it then this will not update your original data so, so if you want to make the changes in your original data so you have to use this in place equals to true and if you will execute it then 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 here you can see that the dates are now added in your database so in this way you can set the dates as an index in your original data frame. Now I want to see how many dates are missing in my database. So currently I have only business days. So it is excluding all the weekends. So I just want to check those dates which are missing in my database. So for that first I will print all the dates of my data frame. So for that I have used here pd.date range and here I have used start. 1st April 2019 and this is the end date and here this time I have used frequency equals to D so this is for daily and if you will execute it then here you can see it has printed all the dates of this month so here you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 but if you see your data frame if you see the dates of your data frame then here 6th and 7th is missing so these dates are missing so I want to check what are the dates are missing in my database so this is here I have printed all the dates of this month and uh, and then I'll use daily index dot difference df dot index so so here I have used difference method to see the missing dates and if you will execute it then here you can see these are the dates which are missing in my data frame. So in this way you can find out the missing date of your database. Now I will show you the benefit of this date time index in pandas so we can also plot a graph like this so for that you just need to write uh, this matplotlib.inline and df.pnb.plot so pnb is here you can see this is the column and here I am going to plot a graph and it will use these values and date so if you will execute this then it will plot the graph so here you can see these are the dates at the bottom here you can see x-axis and this is the y-axis so here you can see these are the dates of this uh, April month and these are the values and on the base of that it has drawn this graph it has plot the graph 
so in this way you can also use this to plot the graph and you can also calculate the mean the average value of this PNB column for these dates so here I have passed this uh, 1st April 2019 to 10th April 2019 and I have applied this on PNB column and here I just want to calculate the average value so if you'll execute this then here you can see the value so in this way you can also calculate the mean for particular dates and now I'll show you the use of as frequency method so let's say I have this tf dot index and here you can see the dates of your data frame and here these are the business dates so weekends are missing as I have just told you here you can see 6 7 is missing it is now directly showing me 8th 9th and so on and again here you can see 13th and 14th dates are missing so these are the business days and we do not have the values for these dates in our data frame we don't have the value for 6 or 7 or we don't have the value for 13th and 14th and so on so we don't have the value for missing data and let's say you want to add the values for these dates in your database then you can simply assume that the price of the shares that was on Friday that is on 5th will be the same as on 6th or on 7th fiction so the value that is that was on Friday will be the same on Saturday and Sunday so what you will do we will use this as frequency method so I'll show you how we can use that methods I'll use this tf dot as frequency and here I have passed D D is for daily and I have used method equals to pad this is for padding so if you execute this then here you can see the date 6 and 7 so the value for 6th or 7th is same as the value of 5th so here you can see 98.25 108.44 and so on so these values are also here and on 7th as well and in the same way you can check uh, 13th and 14th so these values are also the same as the values of 12th so in this way you can use this S frequency method by using this pad so currently it is picking the value from previous rows but let's say you want to copy this value here 6th and 7th so in that case you just simply have to use here instead of pad you just need to type backfill so this time it will copy the value of 8th and if you will execute it then here you can see now the values on 8th are now copied here so in this way you can use this backfill to copy the values which is available on Monday so in this way you can use this backfill method to copy the values and you can also use this as frequency method for weekly if you will execute this then it will give you the weekly data and you can also use it for hourly so if you you execute this then here you can see the data here you can see the hourly data and we also have one more argument which is period so which you can use here in this way so here I have used this PD.rate date range and 1st January 2019 and here I have used period equals to 72 and frequency equals to H H for hourly and if you will execute this then it will run for 72 hours because I have used hourly here and the period I have given here is 72 so it will run for 72 hours so I have a start date but I don't have a end date so I can use this period and here you can see the values 
for next 72 hours means for three days data it is showing me so if you don't have the end date then you can also use period argument so this is all about how we can use this trade range in pandas time series thank you so much for watching the video have a good day